So the components I use for the multi-rig are the size 4 Deception Anglin SWG hook, a rubber liner liner, a micro ring swivel, an anti-tangle sleeve, a 4mm soft rubber hook bead, 15 pound end trap soft, a size AAA Fox pop-up weight, a pair of braid scissors, a rig puller tool, a line stripper tool and a splicing needle. So firstly take a nice sharp hook out the packet and just put that to one side and then pull off about 18 inches of braid and leave it attached to the spool. Then take 4 inches of braid and double it over to form a loop. Put the eye end of the hook through the loop and hold it in place where you want the loop to come off the back of the hook. Pull the braid along the shank of the hook and place your fingers where you want the knot to be. I leave about a quarter of an inch between the eye of the hook and the knot. Remove the hook and put it to one side. And slide your fingers about half inch either side of where you want the knot to be and tie an overhand loop in the middle. But don't pull the knot down tight at this stage. Pinch the end of the loop between your fingers and push it through the eye of the hook from the hook point side. Put the loop over the hook to check that you've left uh, the loop long enough. Then pull the loop back over the hook and tighten the knot using the rig puller tool. Then trim the tang end off with the uh, braid scissors. Place the micro ring swivel over the loop and pull it down to the eye of the hook. Put the soft rubber bead onto the splicing needle and then pull it onto the loop. Slide it down the loop until it reaches the micro ring swivel. Put the loop over the hook again and hold it where you want it to exit the hook. and push the rubber bead up until it touches the hook to hold the loop in place. Make sure the braid is equal so the micro ring swivel moves easily. Hold onto the rubber bead and pull the braid until the knot sits about a quarter of an inch away from the eye. Leaving about 12 inches, cut the braid off the spool Push the tag end of the braid through the fat end of the liner liner and slide it down to the knot. Work the liner liner onto the hook until it covers the eye. Neaten up the loop and reposition the rubber bead. I find that adding the line liner uh, makes the hook turn really aggressively, even without the weight of the hook bait.
push the tag end of the braid through the small tapered end of the anti-tangle sleeve and push it down the braid. Tie an overhand loop in the end of the braid. Wet the knot. And pull it tight using the rig puller tool. Then using the braid scissors just trim the tag end. Slide the anti-tangle sleeve up the braid until it covers the knot. It's your choice how uh, long you want the rig. My starting point usually is about 7 inches. Hold the hook and straighten everything up so it's nice and neat and aligned with the hook. Using the stripper tool, strip about a quarter of an inch of coating to allow movement beneath the liner liner. Place the triple A Fox pop-up weight onto the line. And pull the rubber tubing into the weight until it is flush with one end. Trim the tag end of the rubber tubing flush with the pop-up weight. Slide the pop-up weight to your chosen position depending on how high you want the rig to sit off the lake bed. And lastly, steam the rig straight. Uh, to take out any kinks in the braid and to straighten it out nicely.